Cancel the charge theoretically. The SF is going to get charged with OD following it up, early hammer. As long as it's working, but he needs to play with. He's not a space maker, right? So if you're going to play him on three, you kind of need that spirit mid. Crown Tokyo's four so first blood top. Yep, they managed the to pick bang. up that one, but it looks like the SF may be traded back as Yutoro is going to be able to get that last dagger. And. When she finished her treads, also a hero that can just get on top of SF. That's the name of the game, right? Get on top yep. of them, do the damage. There's a range drop. Bashback. Astral is going to die. Mira showing up with the Spirit Breaker. Uh, Ducalis and Astral have been trying really hard for the last minute to, to make this gank work, and they finally do manage to get it. Spear midway through the Meteor Hammer and should be a kill. Uh-oh. Are they going to run out of damage? Oh, dear. They are. The charge is going to come through from Mira. Collapse is already out. He can try and go back in in five seconds. In fact, Yutoro, he shows up, keeping their distance, waiting to poke and poke until there is a hero low enough to be able to commit, and it is going to be showing it now. Rizimit, Meteor Hammer, Astral. He's going to fall. He's going to die, and Ducalis running forward. I, I don't think you could do anything to collapse here. You don't have the nukes for it. He throws out the spear, does manage to land it. Young G and Malik need to be able to get here fast. Turns around, throws out the ultimate, but the damage is there. They finally get the kill they were looking for that entire time. Collapse falls. Yutaro uh, is level 6 and was hoping for a crit or two to be able to kill Malik. Finally gets it now. Is he going to jump? He's going to do it. He's going to jump. Young G's ready to pounce in return. And oh, that was actually quite a sick bait. Risky as hell. But ultimately, it gets the carry of Team Spirit Kill. See, yeah, Toro will be the one to TP and be part of that skirmishing and have the Bane free farming. But yeah, it'll pay off later when you see this Bane actually has some levels and he gets a grip kill on some. Well, for, now. for now, he'll be getting killed. <laughs> yeah, Mapushka goes down, as does Mira creeps and then at some point he's getting alacrity that with mkb and he'll actually shred this pa the top lane real quick they found invoker Bane's grip they do manage to chase back collapse here the spear's going to be able to stop Bane from that fiend script they're going to be able to get both of these kills very nicely rotated by puck champ oh, yeah tornado oh just misses moposhka Dances away through the trees, is not going to be able to make it out, but Puck Champ had to work pretty hard to be able to get that kill. And now look for Mira, caught him inside the arena. And missed the spear, doesn't really matter, should still die, and they'll take this mid-tier 1 tower. So Puck Champ striking back, as we already have it on Toronto, Tokyo, and that's why he's being hyper-aggressive right now in the enemy jungle. He's got Mira to be able to follow him up. The tornado landed on Toronto, Tokyo, but the charge through is what catches Young G. TPing in, SF, maybe this is what you're talking about, of just letting your losses go. Ooh, the pit into the fear, but Toronto, Tokyo is not tanking. Oh. He had the mana to throw out remnants and jump, but... But... Yeah, a little awkward. Astral actually leading off with the Yules. Might have been able to catch Collapse, but unfortunately the rest of the team was not close enough there. Not yet, anyway. Fiend's grip. Anybody to be able to save this? Ducalis can go for the arena if he wants to. Oh, jeez. They dropped the ultimate, but Collapse is going to be in some trouble here with the arena on out. The Underlord was not going to be able to save there, but they can still clean up these extra supports. So this is great for Puck Champ. Very, very nice fight for them as uh, they just, I guess, kind of baited out the Underlord and everybody from Puck Champ was still around. Yeah, I watched that game. And I... I was wondering if he just did it. Oh, anyways, they're going in real quick. They're going hard onto the SF, but he... Okay, never mind. Mira managed to get the ultimate off, and that is what's going to bring down the SF. You said it's a good anti-carry against the Shadow Fiend. We're seeing in action here. Ducal is throwing out the arena. Does manage to catch Mira inside of it, awkwardly enough, but missed everybody else, and they can't even commit for the Spirit Breaker because it's the PA and it's the OD they have to worry about. Toronto Tokyo coming in from behind is going to be able to chain the two supports up together and ensure that the rest of the team spirit can lay in the damage to win this fight cleanly. Getting the carry, getting the extra kills, and uh, 
to find that last bit of farm. Ooh, this is a nice pick off. Megan get it collapsed. The Meteor's gonna drop. They're gonna show themselves. Ducalis needs to get here quickly in order to stop Collapse from doing any more damage. Yules, oh no! Missed time there. The Yules goes out as the Spear does with Ducalis. They throw out the Meteor, but uh, he's already got the Shard on OD. He's gonna be able to back away. Blinks out immediately after the Imprisonment. Scott free for him, and uh-oh, Yutaro's here now. Yutaro's here, he's got the Aegis. Surprised at the hesitance there. They go back for Astral, get that kill. Meanwhile, Toronto Tokyo is in deep here. Pops his BKB, reveals at least one. They're gonna be able to stop to call us from TPing out. That's the two supports dead with the SF at the back line. Krillot's not gonna be able to get away. And hey, what's one more kill, Underlord? So, four, without losing the Aegis, without a hero even getting close to low, a bit of a, a bungle there from Puck Champ. If they had maybe been able to catch Collapse with their combination, they could have gotten one kill, but sadly, they get absolutely nothing. A big goose egg out of that one. Collis sets up the ward on the high ground. I'm saying they need a dream initiation for them to be able to get this Aghanim Scepter off. That does manage to get off the ultimate right as the Ember Spirit came in. He got fear, but they didn't get any Chainstone off of it because of the Yule Scepter once again from Astral. Now they're gonna try and get out of this team fight, but it's already too late. We've seen time and time before. The damage comes too thick and too fast from the side of Team Spirit to let that Dark Rift go off in time. Or a plus uh, Snapfire, you're going into like over negative eight armor. That's uh, potential. Really strong, but Krillat is gonna be in some trouble here. Jesus, look at that one dagger crit. Just a dagger crit from Yutoro is enough to be able to chunk down the uh, HP of the SF and sure enough, Puck Champ, we're gonna call GG. It's kind of been going this way for the last 20 minutes, maybe more. Uh, and uh, Puck Champ. Well, genuinely. Steeler stacks. This would be a sick Bristol game. It's physical damage to pair with Slaughter. It's actually a sick Bristol game. Sven but is. That's not a physical hero. Okay. Not Spirit just need to make sure that they're protecting him appropriately because Puck Champ do have like a lot of potential to invade the triangle. Uh, still bring all the normal amount of regen to land. Yeah, uh, top lane. Initiation here. Malik trying to run the opposite direction to get out of that ink swell. Ooh, that damn, that was a lot of damage. Maposhka cuts him down with a stroke of fate, and that is going to be first blood for the Dusa. And she is not going to be ready to go jungle this early. So I'm beginning to get real concerned about this top lane. They're going to go in with, once again, the stun ink swell. Uh, some damage to Malik. He's going to survive. In fact, if he gets a couple of hits on Maposhka, gives up on it, instead hits Yutoro instead. But. Uh, Never been the biggest fan of Grimstroke 5. It always feels so much better as a, as a 4 when it comes to laning phase. Bottom lane, they just get run over by this Slardar. The Dusa is down, and bottom lane is now officially, I think, very, very lost. There, they might like be able this. to find Young G, which would be a perfect kill. Chain back, pull back into the silence. The explosion goes off. The illusion room was a nice thought by Young G to be able to get out of that gank, but the uh, overlapping disables were too much. Lanes very dominantly and not play for uh, those big mid-game uh, five-man team fights. Inkswell, gonna go instead of going for the Skywrath Mage. They see the Medusa's a little bit low and they straight up catch her out. Young G in response, trying to look to avenge his carry. will kill the Io, and they're gonna be able to get the kill on the uh, Maposhka Grimstroke as well. A dual win and two support kills, but it doesn't offset the fact that their carry uh, is, net worth is, is stalling out. Games, and you don't go high ground the first day. It's like really hard. Bane low, oh, a good sleep, oh, really good sleep. Does dodge what he can and allows the opening here for the Legion Commander to be able to get the call out onto the IO. They get the kill onto Mira and collapse a little bit low as well. The Medusa might just be able to get that kill. They will. The Fiend's Grip over on the side here. Yotoro's caught out. He's going to come back with no God Strength. I'm not sure if they've got enough to be able to bail him out. Well, Poshka's going to stick around, but immediately the nukes swarming it and Team Spirit reads it. Okay. We can't save our Sven here. A massive win for Puck Champ. Up 70 damage. 70 dual damage right now. Heading for 219 damage a hit on average. Might just be able to get another win. That is going to be a dead IO. In fact, they need to be able to get Sven out of here. He immediately tries to book it. The Rod of Ato solves him up long enough for now. Young G to get the follow up disabled. Storm Spirit does zip in, trying to stall out these heroes. And might just be enough. Young G blinking forward. Sonic Wave. And they got him. Yutoro dies again. Smoke, Air is... though, so can I get the clock? 
They are going to be able to get the co-op initiation, but saved by the Legion Commander for the time being. But oh no, the Ink Swift, they managed to catch him on side of the Legion Commander. That means the co-op is not going to be able to blink away until perhaps it's too late. It'll collapse, just going to be able to run him down with the vision still there from the Corrosive Haze. Malik almost managed to catch Toronto Tokyo, but it wasn't good enough. And now, Kralat, he's going to be kind of uh, in some trouble here as he can't quite man fight this man with the Ink Swell stuns coming in. This is a disaster. That's going to be life number one and not a whole lot of backup, especially with Young G, who bought back, has already been scared away from this team fight. He can't seem to go back in. They're going to leave this Medusa entirely alone. Team Spirit found just the perfect initiation for themselves. They killed one of the big team fighters in the Quap, and then they saved the Medusa for last with that extra life. I'm out here in five seconds, even as they try and make the jump now, it's only going to be with one life on the spin. They managed to get the pick off immediately on Ducalis, but he buys back, and now they're going to try and catch these heroes if they can. Shadow Strike blocked by the Lincolns, Mira jumps over with the tether but he's already been dueled up so he's going to be pulled back in another duel win sonic wave goes down grimshaw going down but at the same time the jump in from the, the storm here plus collapse following that up they do manage to get some of these backline heroes and now the medusa's out of mana and just gonna get burnt away team spirit i i thought with the heroes dropping like that they were just gonna give up on the team fight but they turn on a dime whenever you have these lotus or lincolns in the game you're playing you know this bane hero I'm not Over. sure if you mention it. Uh, I just noticed yeah. Refresher on Storm Spirit, so we're gonna have the uh, the double get... mobile RP from him. No longer gets blocked by Lincolns because it's an AOA. Right. So they're able to dump him. And they will. They're gonna be able to grab him here. They're gonna be able to Refresher, do it again with the Relocate coming in, and now the physical damage is there. A nice, nice setup there from Toronto, Tokyo. Efficient, and get a little bit of extra farm, push out a side lane, and that's when I'm gonna get you. That was really good. Could push the lane in, but he really, oh, there's a duel on Slaughter, but. That is not quite going to be one because Mira with the big, big heals coming out gets collapsed all the way back to the full HP. They're going to chase after Krillat and Yutoro. He's swapping in the refresher shard right now. They can go ahead and pop another round of BKB and uh, go for the god strength to be able to ring down the Medusa. That's just the game. That's it right there. Nothing left for Pub Champ Team Spirit. It was actually kind of an even game, but then Team Spirit, <laughs> they just... One or two teams.